The one thing you're gonna notice is that the center cooks a lot faster than the edges. And so you can see like once it starts to cook, I like to give each sort of edge a little bit of extra time over the hottest part of the grill. I think we're pretty much... Uh, I feel like that's that. the opposite of most pizzas. Center's cooking faster. Yeah, it's the opposite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our coals are uh, on the cooler side now. So, you know, the hotter your coals are, the sort of the more uneven browning you get. So when they're cooler, you get a nice sort of golden brown um, with some charred spots. When they're really hot, you get more of that sort of leopard spotting. But, and now your temptation might be to just let it sit there and like go have a beer, go chat with your friends, whatever. You don't want to let it sit too long because, you know, what happens with pizza and what, well, with any dough is that if it's hot, but not hot enough that it's like, you know, cooking, it's going to eventually, moisture is going to come out of it. And instead of having that sort of contrast between the crackly outside and the soft interior, you end up with a, you know, something that's crunchy all the way through like a cracker. So you definitely don't want to let it sit too long. I've got Kenji Lopez Alt teaching me everything I need to know on how to make a great grilled pizza. And we're going to show you all the secrets too.